a quick and easy way to get more control for your Gladiator. Stay tuned. And welcome back to another video in the Giveaway Gladiator Build Series. And today, we're gonna be adding a Hellwig adjustable rate sway bar. This is gonna help control the body roll that's gonna happen as we start lifting and loading down this Gladiator. If you've already lifted your Gladiator or if you've added extra weight in the back, maybe even put a rooftop tent on, you know the extra body roll that you're getting from those modifications. We raise the center of gravity of that weight and that's gonna make that vehicle sway more. Well, a great way to get it under control is a heavy duty sway bar. And Hellwig is one of the original names in heavy duty sway bars. They've been doing sway and load control for over 75 years right here in the United States. Their products are made here in America and it is high quality stuff. So let's get in with this install. I said it was quick and easy, let's show you. Hellwig offers this kit in two configurations. The first one for a stock vehicle, which is what we're working on. The second is for a two to four inch lift. Now with the stock vehicle, all we're gonna do is replace the factory sway bar and mounts with the Hellwig piece. To remove this, we're gonna start here just with the 16 mil bolts and remove the four of them at the axle and let this hang. Now to remove the bar at the links, you need an 18 mil wrench and you may need a six mil hex key. We're gonna start with an 18 mil wrench and loosen up the nut on the end of the sway bar link. And that's where that six millimeter hex key comes in handy. You can slide it right in and hold that sway bar link as we loosen that nut. And now you can take your sway bar link and just pull the bar out. Now one of the first things you notice between the two bars is that the Hellwig bar weighs about double the factory bar. And that's because the factory bar is tubular steel, where the Hellwig bar is 4140 chromoly and it's solid. And that's gonna be a big difference in the way the vehicle feels as the body's trying to sway and the sway bar is fighting that or controlling that sway. So as we look at the two bars, you'll see the Hellwig's got the three holes in it and the factory bar just has one. These three holes are what gives us our adjustable rate. We have our lightest rating, our medium rating, and then our heaviest rating. So it really is something that you can adjust. Now to install the Hellwig sway bar, we're just gonna slide it up onto our links. Then we're gonna grab our blue glue stick, throw a little Loctite on, and thread our nuts back in place. Hellwig includes two new mounts for the sway bar. The bushing material is made from polyurethane, which is a much denser material than the factory rubber and will have less compression of the bushing, giving you more control. Pull the bracket off the bushing. And then we're gonna take the supplied grease and coat the inside of the bushing liberally. And pop it over the bar. Now you wanna make sure that you mount the bushing with the split facing down. 
slide our brackets over the top. Hellwig also includes brand new hardware. We're gonna add a little blue Loctite to our bolts. Now Hellwig does include Loctite with the kit, but we like to hang on to those little packages and throw them in our toolbox just in case we're out on the trail and we need some Loctite. Take your rag, wipe up any excess grease. All right, as we're wiping the grease off, you notice the coating on the sway bar itself. It has all these little dimples in it, and that'll actually help hold the grease in against the bushing a lot better than just a smooth finish. Hellwig includes these sway bar stops that mount to the bar just on the inside of the bushing, and that's to keep the bar from sliding left to right. Slide that right up against the bushing, and then we're gonna slide our screws in from the other side. And Hellwig even includes the necessary hex key. Now, being that the giveaway gladiator is still very stock, we set the sway bar link in at the outermost hole. That's the lightest rating of this Hellwig sway bar. Once we get a lift on, we'll be moving it to the center hole. By the time we have our rooftop tent on and extra weight, we'll definitely be moving it to the heavier hole. There's about 11% difference in rate between each one of the holes. So if you've noticed extra sway in your Jeep from an added lift or added weight, maybe a Hellwig sway bar should be in your future. Check the description box down below for a link to where you can get one for your Jeep. You'll also find a link to where you can enter to win this giveaway Gladiator. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you in the next one.